Hello, basketball fans, and a good Tuesday evening to one and all. Welcome to Ottawa Hills High School, their main gymnasium, home of the Green Bears, as we are getting ready for boys' Division Three sectional semifinal action here on Hicksville Community Television this evening. The Aces from Hicksville have made the long trip. It's about an 80-mile drive from uh, Hicksville to get to Ottawa Hills, and the Aces are here to take on the homestanding Green Bears in this sectional semifinal game. Uh, checking out the, uh, well, we'll get to that in uh, just a minute. We want to welcome you to a live stream coverage coming to you here on the Hicksville Community Television Hicks TV YouTube channel. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicks TV. With me tonight, we have uh, Chris Warner, who's uh, going to be filling in. Jim Seiler, not able to uh, be with us uh, this evening. Jim is still recovering from uh, some uh, eye surgery that, uh, that he had to have done. Nothing major or anything. We wish him a speedy recovery. So Chris is going to be filling in with a little color commentary, and he is uh, overseeing the uh, live stream of the OBS software this evening. Brian Williams is with us operating the camera for tonight. I want to thank both of them for joining me on the uh, lengthy trip over here on what uh, may be kind of a stormy drive home too. It looks like we might have some uh, heavy weather coming our way uh, by the time we wrap this one up uh, at about 8 30, 9 o'clock or so this evening. I'm glad to have you here with us regardless and looking forward to an interesting game here tonight. Uh, we uh, uh, want to thank all of the underwriters that have made our coverage possible uh, for us to be on the road this evening. Our four diamond level underwriting supporters are the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford online at jimschmidtauto.com. Thanks also to APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at APT mfg.com slash careers thanks to the hicksville pharmacy your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown hicksville ohio and arc solutions incorporated of hicksville ohio a world-class facility located in hicksville's industrial park and also online at www.arcsolinc.com Thanks to our Gold Level Underwriting supporter, the Subway of Hicksville. Subway of Hicksville, where Al and the gang say Go Aces, proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award. And also joining us for our tournament coverage, two of our Silver Level Underwriting supporters, our good friends at the Hicksville Bank, member FDIC, and online at www.thb.bank. And also Bruce Guilford Real Estate and Auctioneering Associates of Hicksville online at guilford-realestate.com. Thanks to all of them for helping it, making it possible for us to be here tonight. I'm going to be talking for a little while longer. We're a little over a minute away from the official start when that happens and we get ready for the introduction of players, the national anthem. We'll shut off the headset microphones and go to the uh, floor announcer here at Ottawa Hills. But again, we do want to thank you for being here tonight. We're looking forward to this game. The Aces, of course, uh, oops, I've I got to grab the right thing here to make sure. Uh, the Aces are the 13th seed overall in uh, this portion of this sectional, and Ottawa Hills is the number eight seed. The winner of this game gets to advance to play the number one seed in the sectional. That's uh, Toledo Emmanuel Christian and uh, that game will be played uh, coming up on uh, Friday March the 1st and that will be at Toledo Emmanuel Christian and the winner of that of course advances to district level play at Napoleon High School so I want to wish both teams the best of luck here and uh, again thank you for joining us whether you are one of our Aces fans I think we might have a few Ottawa Hills people that are going to be joining us for the uh, live stream as well and we do want to make sure everybody is aware this live stream has been officially licensed by the Ohio High School Athletic Association so with that we're going to go down to the floor announcer to get the sectional semifinal underway right here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel
coaches, those administrating the contest, and of course, your team and your opponent, and of course, the officials. Let's all respect the game. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, will you please remain standing for the presentation of our national anthem. Jace 
We welcome you back to Press Row as we've had the introduction of players and uh, the uh, officials that will be overseeing the game tonight and we're going to get ready to get things started. Jumping center circle will be number four, Jackson Snyder for our Ottawa Hills and Braden Slattery for the Aces. Again, glad to have you with us. Coming to you live on the Hicks TV YouTube channel, tip controlled by the Green Bears. And we're underway. Hanus feeds it down low, up and good for Chance Coy. Iker over to Sanders. Iker loses the ball, it's stripped away. Shot up, and that's another good one. That one by Chase Miller. Early 4-0 lead now for the Green Bears. Here come the Aces again. And that didn't take long. Coach Dylan Welch calling a timeout with uh, just 40, 36 seconds expired. So quick 30-second timeout here as I'm sure he's going to be talking about ball handling. You can't uh, let him strip the ball that easy this early in the game. They jump out to the early league. Aces will break huddle. They'll have the basketball. First quarter action here at Ottawa Hills High School. Iker to Sanders. Sanders into a double team, looking for some help. Sanders. And he's going to be fouled. It's going to be on number two, Gabe Grimm. That'll be Grimm's first and team foul number one in the first quarter for the Green Bears. And Aces will have the ball side court. Sanders in the slattery right back to Austin. Iker, Iker outside for three off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound comes down to the Bears. They hurl it down the court. Up off the bottom. No good. Put back. No good. And the rebound comes back down to the Aces. Sanders kicks it back out to Stuckey. Stuckey over to Turnbull. Turnbull. And Turnbull is going to be a foul on the floor. That's going to be on 11, Chase Miller. And Miller picks up his first in team foul number two for the Green Bears. Again on the floor, Turnbull looking to get the ball inbounds. Launches it to Stuckey. Knocked out of bounds off the hands of Miller. 6.46 to go here, opening quarter action. Aces down 4 nothing early in this sectional semifinal. Division three action. Sanders out on the wing. Top of the key to Turnbull. Turnbull looking things over. Stuckey on the other wing. Stuckey drives down low, kicks it back out. Iker. Iker bounce pass is stolen. And that's going to be a foul on Sanders. Austin will pick up his first personal. Team foul number one for the Aces. And it will be Bears ball. Austin holding his eye like he got poked in it. Mm -hmm. Feed in and blocked. Still loose on the floor and he gets it right back. Snyder took the shot, missed it. Now Hanuz. Oh, a long three for Avi Hanuz. Iker quickly into Turnbull, right back to Luke. Now over to Sanders. Back to Iker. Iker into a double team, bounce pass, almost stolen away by Hanuz. And that'll be a 
turnover on the Aces. Jackson Snyder gets the ball inbounds to Grimm. Grimm over to Miller. Miller, and he stepped on the sideline, and that'll be another turnover. This time back to the Aces. Got the ball to Coy, but Coy stepped on the sideline. Out of bounds to Hicksville. Iker gets the ball inbounds to Sanders. Back to Iker. Now to Turnbull, quickly up the floor, Slattery. Working it down, trying to beat that press, and a bad pass, and it's scooped up. Miller, he'll be fouled to go into the hoop, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. That's going to be the first foul, I believe, on Turnbull. Yep. Turnbull picks up his first personal. Team foul number two on the Aces. And that is going to put number 11, Chase Miller, at the line to shoot two with 5.40 to go in the first quarter. First one's no good. He'll get one more. Langham will come in for Stuckey. Second one, that's good. Three points now unofficially for Chase Miller. Turnbull into a double team. Kicks it back out to Iker. Quickly to Langham. Langham to Slattery. Slattery, Turnbull. Turnbull backing it out. Over to Sanders. Inside to bounce pass down low to Iker. And it's off of Luke's hands out of bounds. And a turnover back to the Green Bears. Green Bears slow it down just a little bit. Miller brings it across timeline. Double team for the Aces. Tosses it over to Grimm. Grimm into the paint. Puts it up off glass. No good. Put back off glass. And that's two for J Jackson Snyder. Langham to Iker. Iker back to Langham. The Aces move it up the floor. Turnbull. Puts it up off glass and good. Garrett Turnbull, first bucket of the night for the Aces. Finally break the scoring ice. Still trailing now 10 to two. Well, make that uh, 13 to two. Miller bangs the three home. 11 point lead and that almost stolen by Coy. Knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to Hicksville with 434 still to go in our opening quarter. New player in for Ottawa, that's uh, Nick Anderson, number 15. He'll spell Grimm. Langham on the sideline and out of bounds. Langham forced out of bounds, trying to move it up on the sideline. It'll turn it back over to Ottawa Hills. Heisler checks into the game for Hicksville and he'll spell Slattery. Chase Miller directing some traffic. Tosses it over to Coy. Back to Hanus. And that's another three from the top of the key for Avi Hanus. Langham partially deflected out of bounds. Stays with the aces. Glad that lady sitting in the front row was paying attention. Turnbull working it out around the half court line in a double team and into trouble. Almost stepped on the half court line. Gets it back to Langham down the corner. Iker for three. A little bit long and Hanus grabs the board. He'll launch it down into the corner to Coy. Anderson, he'll drive in, and Anderson's going to be fouled. That'll be foul on the floor. No free throws. That'll be on number four, so that'll be Graber picking up his first. And that's team foul number three on the Aces. Hanus, as they get it back inbounds, knocked loose, and well, back to the uh, Green Bears. 
Hanus, pull up jumper, no good. Slapped out of bounds, last touched by Ottawa Hills. It'll be Aces ball on the baseline. 3.18 to go now in our opening quarter. Iker traveled. Another turnover back to Ottawa Hills. Boom. Good echo chamber there on the uh, yes. scoring table. I want to say a big thank you to the Ottawa Hills Athletic Department for setting us up. Our setup was something out of the norm for them, so uh, they accommodated us. We really appreciate their help. Hanus, far side, and that's another three. And they'll clear the net. Makes it 19 to two, 17 point lead here in the first quarter. Iker back to Turnbull. Turnbull, he's gonna get fouled trying to go through that double team. That'll be on 15. That'll be Nick Anderson picking up his first personal. And that's team foul number three on the Green Bears. Langham gets the ball in to Graber, right back to Langham and back to Graber. Bronson kicks it back out to Turnbull. Turnbull, a 3-2 zone look coming to us for defense for the uh, Ottawa Hills. Knocked out of bounds and off of Iker. Another turnover for the Aces as Snyder will get ready to inbounds the ball. He'll get it into Miller. Miller. And almost, but Hanus couldn't quite get there in time. Get it back to the Aces. Turnbull. Heisler back to Turnbull. Across the timeline. Turnbull trapped on the sideline in a double team, and he's going to get fouled again. And nope, they say he traveled. Uh, I was hoping he drew the foul. So I'll turn it back over on the travel call to the Green Bears. Coy will step out of the game. Sanders will come in for Iker. And also into the game for Ottawa Hills number one, Preston Tom. Miller. Nice pass. I'll work it around the perimeter. Setting up a good look. Up in. That's three for Anderson. They're raining threes now as they've had uh, five of them so far here in this first quarter. Minute 45 to go. Aces down by 20. Off of Heisler's foot and out of bounds. Inbounds to Miller. Anderson, kick it back out to Hanus. Hanus to Tom. Back to Anderson. Minute 20, clock rolling. Ottawa Hill's gonna take the air out a little bit. Driving baseline, he'll stop, pull up. Launch it to Hanuz from three-point land, he misses. Rebound, up and a foul on Jackson Snyder. He'll go to the line to shoot two with a minute two left in our opening quarter. And that's gonna be on Heisler. His first, team foul number four in this first quarter. Snyder, first free throw, good. He'll have one more. Got them both. 
Langham with the inbounds. He moves up the floor. Bounce pass over to Graber. Graber gets it to Sanders, back to Langham. Down to Graber in the corner. Bounce pass to Heisler. Heisler baseline, and it's stripped away from Stuckey. Down the floor. Oh. And that's off of a Chase Miller out of bounds to the Aces. Langham gets the ball back. 35 seconds. Sanders, little jumper up and gets the bounce. Good. Sanders with the bucket to make it 24 to 4. 24 seconds. And it looks like Ottawa's going to try to hold this for the last shot of the quarter. Ten seconds. Spin move. Jumper up no good. Graber. And the buzzer sounds. And at the end of the first quarter, it's a 20-point lead for the Ottawa Hills Green Bears over the Aces, 24-4. We want to say a big thank you to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and of course online at jimschmidtauto.com, one of our diamond-level underwriters, underwriting all of our Aces sports coverage for 2024. Want to thank them so very much. And hey, remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new, pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, Check out the selection they have on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, it's always about service. Before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, anytime you see Aces Sports action on Hicksville Community Television, they're the ones that help make it possible. We want to thank them. We hope you will, too. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. 24-4 as we get ready to get the second quarter underway. As it's been all Green Bears so far tonight, Aces will have the ball to start quarter number two. Graber into Langham, and here we go. Slattery back into the game. Sanders over on the far side, puts up the runner, and doesn't get the bounce. Anus with the rebound, quickly over to Grimm. Grimm up the floor. Graber got the hand on the pass. It was deflected a couple times. The Aces come up with it. Langham, nice feed up and no good. And an offensive foul on Langham. That'll be Brant's first, and that's team foul number one of this second quarter. Langham draws the offensive foul. It'll turn it back over to the Green Bears. Miller brings it across the timeline. Over to Coy. Back to Miller. Miller drives into the paint. He'll pull up off the glass and good. Langham across the timeline, over to Sanders on the wing. Sanders inside to Slattery to Graber. Graber dials up long distance. On the other end, that's up and good for Miller. Down low, Slattery, and that's going to be out of bounds to the Aces, last touched by Hanus. Snyder will step out and into the game for him, number 20, Will Summers. And almost stolen out of bounds off the hands of Coy. Langham working around the perimeter. Over to Graber. Graber goes strong to the hoop. Up no good. Rebound. 
snatched out of Slattery's hands by Hanus. Quickly down the floor, Grimm. Off the iron, no good. Now kick it back out, Coy. No good. And grabbed by Graber. Graber over to Stuckey. And we'll come back the other way with the Aces. Stuckey to Graber. Back to Stuckey. Bounce pass down low, Langham. Langham working through traffic, puts it up. Off the glass, no good. And that'll be a whistle and a foul. It might be on Slattery. Yep. Braden will pick up his first personal, and that's team foul number two for the Aces for this quarter. Back into the game, number 15, Will Anderson for the Bears, and he'll give uh, Avi Hanus a breather. Miller. Miller drive into the hoop, up, and doesn't get the roll, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is going to be on Graber, I believe. Yep. Graber picks up his second personal. Team foul number three for the Aces. And he'll put Chase Miller at the line to shoot two. 5.53 to go here in the first half. Miller, no good. He'll get one more. Aces trailing by 21, 28 to 7. Miller's second shot, no good. Sanders grabs the board. Langham brings the ball across half court. Sanders down into the corner to Stuckey. Stuckey drives baseline, nothing there. They'll kick it back out from the top of the key, up and good. Austin Sanders makes it a 28 to 10 game. On the other side, Grimm lays it up and in. They don't waste any time getting up and down the floor, these Green Bears. Slattery's going to be fouled, I believe. 20. Yep, that'll be on Will Summers. That'll be his first, and that'll be uh, team foul number one on the Green Bears for this second quarter. Aces will have the ball on the baseline. Graber and Langham step out along with Stuckey. Uh, Turnbull back into the game to Sanders. Heisler's out on the floor, as is Iker for Hicksville. Sanders bounce pass down low, and Bronson missed it. It was grabbed by, by Snyder. Snyder to Coy. Anderson now guarded by Iker. Over to Grimm. Bounce pass down to Snyder. Snyder's going to get waylaid, and... So that might be another one on Heisler. Heisler picks up his second and team foul number four. So the Aces are one away from putting the uh, Green Bears into the bonus for the remainder of this quarter. Grimm loses the basketball. Turnbull scoops it up, goes the distance, puts it up, gets the bucket, and he's going to the line. Turnbull gets the hoop. That'll be the uh, first personal foul on Chance Coy. Team foul number two on Ottawa Hills for this second quarter. And a free throw coming up for Garrett Turnbull. Misses. But the rebound comes down to Braden Slattery. So the Aces have a chance to pick up some more points here. Down low, and that one's slapped away. That's Snyder. Snyder going up and... Lays it up, no good, but he'll draw a foul. It's going to be on Iker. That'll be Luke's first. That's team foul number five. So into the bonus go the Green Bears for the remainder of the half. Snyder's first one's no good. And we have four minutes and 40 seconds to go before halftime, so that could be a lot of free throws for Ottawa Hills. Snyder's going to get one more right now. That one's good. Five points unofficially for Snyder now. 
Turnbull over to Heisler. Heisler, Sanders. Sanders looking for some help, gets it to Heisler. Heisler, they let him get away with one there. Turnbull, nope. Rebound comes down to Hanus. Quickly down the floor to Coy. Back up to Hanus. Inside to Snyder. Snyder, nice move on Slattery. Gets around and puts up one. Gets a second shot. That one's no good either. Heisler grabs the rebound. Halfway through the second quarter. Eicher, Heisler. Turnbull back to Luke Eicher. Heisler. And it's stolen away. Tries to get it to Eicher. Snyder now. No, too bad. was Anderson. Puts it up. No good. And now Miller gets the bounce off the glass, and it's good. Eicher. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul. So Luke's going to get fouled. That's going to be on number four, Jackson Snyder, his first. That'll be team foul number three now on the Bears. Sanders over to Turnbull. And over and back. Turnbull loses it, and he can't get it to it before it goes across, and he goes across the center line. Turnover back to Ottawa Hills. Again, leading now 33-12. to 12. Compliments to Chris Warner, keeping that score, score banner on up to date here tonight. Snyder puts it up. Nope. Gets his own rebound. Snyder's going to try again. No good. And that'll go down into the hands of Austin Sanders to Heisler. Heisler, bounce pass over to Turnbull. Turnbull. Tried to get it down low to Heisler. Ball loose, and he stepped out of bounds. He'll turn it back over to the Green Bears with 2.43 to go in the half. Stuckey and Langham come back into the game as uh, Turnbull... No, I take that back at Sanders and Slattery. We'll get a breather. Miller to Hanus. Boom. Volleyball type of ball. I was say, that was a volleyball move there. Yep. Aces knocked away. Anderson trying to get it under control. Anderson puts it up off the glass and gets the roll. Nick Anderson with a bucket. And timeout from the Aces. Full timeout with 2.20 to go. Time for us to say a big thank you to one of our silver level underwriting supporters, our good friends at the Hicksville Bank. Member FDIC, the Hicksville Bank with their main branch in downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Branches in Edgerton, elsewhere around the region. You can find out about all of the branches, their hours of operation, and the many services they provide. Check them out online at www. Dot thb dot bank. And of course, the main branch uh, can answer any of your questions as well. Uh, financial services for you and your family. We want to thank them so very much as a silver level underwriter. They are with us for select sporting events as well as other programming on Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have them with us again as part of our sectional tournament coverage. Our good friends at the Hicksville Bank, member FDIC, and again online at www.thb.bank. They'll break huddle. Aces will have the ball. Iker getting ready to inbounds on the baseline. Gets the ball into Langham. 2.15 left in the half. Langham, Turnbull, Turnbull, nothing there. Back to Langham on the wing. Langham to Stuckey. Stuckey will move it around. Back to Turnbull. Again, kind of a 3-2 look for the Ottawa Hills defense. Heisler, nothing there. He'll have to back it out. Bounce pass down into Stuckey, and then to Iker. Iker almost loses it, gets it back. Luke with the hook shot underneath the hoop is good. 
Eicher with the bucket quickly on the other end. Shot is up and good. That's Jance Coy. He rings up three. 38-14 now, 24-point lead for the Bears. Minute and a half and clock rolling. Turnbull looking things over, gets it to Langham. Langham flips it down to Stuckey. Back to Langham. Langham for three, no good. Snyder grabs the board. He'll bring it up, toss it over to Miller. Again, the Bears will slow things down, at least initially. Anderson, now to Hanus. Snyder, and it's stolen away by Turnbull. Turnbull gets it knocked away from him from behind. It'll go out of bounds. That should remain with the Aces. Ducky, Heisler, Heisler puts up the jumper, in and out, no good. Snyder grabs the board. Over to Miller. Back out to Hanus. 20 seconds. And now to Miller. Hanus in the corner, drives baseline. Anderson, Anderson drives in, puts up the runner, no good. Out to Heisler, Heisler! I don't know why he took that shot from half court when he had seven seconds. But it goes out of bounds and it will be Ottawa Hills ball. Miller picks it up. Miller drives the length of the floor. Miller lays it up. It's good. And he draws the foul. With three tenths of a second, Miller will be at the line. And that'll be uh, the second foul on Garrett Turnbull. Miller, good. And that'll do it. So we have reached halftime here at Ottawa Hills High School and at the intermission of this boys division three sectional semifinal, it's the homestanding Green Bears of Ottawa Hills leading the Aces 41 to 14, the halftime score. Halftime, and we're going to begin by saying a big thank you to another one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters. Again, our Diamond Level Underwriters underwrite all of our ACES sports coverage for all of uh, 2024 across all of our platforms, all levels of play. Big thank you to APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park, offering solutions to business and industry that include welding, powder coating, safety equipment, and so much more. And they're looking to add to their workforce. They have some great positions available at APT Manufacturing, and it's a, it's a terrific place. Can't think of a better place to uh, be there and uh, to uh, start a first career, second career. Uh, maybe add to the skills you already have. All you have to do is go online to aptmfg.com slash careers. That'll take you to a complete listing of all of the opportunities that they have available. Many of them come with specialized training, certification opportunities. You can uh, fill out a resume. You're, you can fill out an application, rather. Upload your resume. And uh, who knows? Maybe you can become a part of the APT manufacturing family. We want to uh, again thank them so very much for their continued diamond level support of all of our ACES sports broadcasts in 2024. Hopefully you will do the same, Tony Nicewan or the whole gang at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio and online at aptmfg.com careers. Also, 
A big thank you to our Gold Level underwriting supporter, Subway of Hicksville. The Subway of Hicksville, where Al and the gang say go aces. It's a great place to stop before or after the game or any time. You can eat fresh, refresh. Check out the Subway Series menu. The new uh, footlong sidekicks are available as well. And, hey, make sure you download the Subway app to your mobile device to take advantage of great in-app specials. You can uh, order ahead. They'll have your food waiting for you when you get there. Curbside pickup and lots more. And, of course, they're the proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award that we give out at the end of each boys and girls Aces varsity basketball game that we cover here on Hicksville Community Television, which means that uh, for one uh, one more time tonight, we've got another yes. one that we'll be handing out as part of the post game for this contest here this evening. We want to thank Al and everybody at Subway of Hicksville. Uh, this is three years now that they have been doing it. And I uh, talked with him today, as a matter of fact, and they're going to be back for year number four yes. next year. So we appreciate that, and thanks to him for that in advance as well. So, uh, again, a big thank you to our Gold Level underwriting supporter, underwriting all of our basketball coverage this season. The Subway of Hicksville, where you can eat fresh and refresh, and where Al and the gang say... <laughs> Go Aces. <laughs> Go Aces, yeah, getting choked up here. But <coughs> I did want to announce, too, as uh, speaking of Subway... Uh, we're doing something a little bit different this year. I've actually been working on something regarding all of the photos of all of our Subway Player of the Game winners. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but I will say once we give out our final one, there is going to be a special post coming up on the Facebook page and on the Instagram, which you can follow us on. Yep. And uh, congratulations to Luke Eicher. Yes. Uh, Luke was the uh, Player of the Game for the last regular season game. It seems like a long time ago. Yes, it, has it been does. A while. Uh, the Aces' last three regular season games were on the road, and again, we don't normally cover uh, road games during the regular season. So uh, Luke Eicher got the last uh, Subway player of the game for the last home game regular season. We were able to get that to him before the game tonight. Snapped a couple of photos, so we can post that a little bit later, yes. too. And uh, and then, like I said, we'll, award, we'll hand one out again coming up here at the end of the contest this evening. Uh, back out on the floor getting ready to warm up and I've got a little time here so a couple minutes away from the second half so I'm going to say another big thank you to another one of our diamond level underwriting supporters our good friends at the Hicksville Pharmacy they are your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville Ohio a full service pharmacy for you and your family's pharmaceutical needs also uh, medical supplies and equipment over the counter medications gift sundry so much more they have candles they have uh, greeting cards Ohio State Michigan paraphernalia great place to stop they've got uh, some neat stuff that they've got there for Easter coming up we were just talking about that so uh, stop by for yourself next time you're in downtown Hicksville Ohio and see for yourself what a difference being locally owned and operated truly makes. And hey, you want to get information on the latest flu shots, COVID boosters, or more? Give them a call, 419-542-6218. They'll be happy to help you out. We want to thank the Myers family again for their diamond level support of all of our Aces Sports broadcasts for 2024. The Hicksville Pharmacy, once again, they're your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. All right, unofficial scoring from that first half. We'll begin with the Aces on the short end of the scoreboard, 41 to 14. The Aces led in scoring by Austin Sanders in the first half. Austin had a bucket and a three-pointer for five points. After that, Garrett Turnbull with a couple of field goals for four. 
Bronson Graber had a three-point field goal for three, and Iker had a bucket for two. And that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It all adds up. So there you have it. On the uh, Ottawa Hills Green Bears side of the coin, uh, their scoring went this way. Gabe Grimm had a bucket for two. Chance Coy, a bucket and a three-pointer for five. Jackson Snyder, a field goal and three free throws for five. It was Nick Anderson with a three-pointer and a two-pointer for five. Then Avi Hanus with three threes for nine and leading all scorers in the first half. Chase Miller, Chase had one, two, three, four, five field goals, a three-pointer and two free throws for 15 points unofficially in that first half to tally their 41. A reminder as we get ready to start the third quarter, if either team goes up by 35 or more points, that institutes the running clock. And with that, we're getting ready to get back in action. The Green Bears will have the ball to start quarter number three. You're watching boys sectional semifinal back to ball action coming your way live here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. And we are underway in the third quarter with Jim. No, Jim's not here. And, and with, with, Chris and with the play-by-play, -play, Bill Murphy. Yeah. Brian running the camera. Back in action, Snyder working his way into the paint. Nothing there. Kicks it back out on top to Coy. Coy over to Grimm. See what kind of adjustments the Aces have made in the halftime locker room. Bounce pass to Coy. Up in and out. No good. And Slattery with the rebound. Braden will hold on and establish a firm possession there. And the Aces will move it up across the timeline. Turnbull. Turnbull feeds it inside to Slattery. Nothing there for Braden. Turnbull for three from way outside the arc. No good. Quickly up the floor, Grimm tosses it over to Miller. Miller off the iron. No good. And Landon, or excuse me, Turn, Garrett Turnbull with the rebound. He takes it off the floor and lays it up and lays it in. Half a dozen for Turnbull now. Grimm blocked from behind, and that'll be a foul on Turnbull. Two shots for Grimm coming up. And that'll be Turnbull's third personal. And team foul number one on the Aces here in quarter number three. Gabe Grimm at the line. He's shooting two. Grimm's first shot. Good. First point for Ottawa Hills here in the uh, second half. Got them both. Aces will move it around the perimeter. Feeds it down low. A nice feed and up and good for Turnbull. Nice assist from Sanders. Miller. Puts it up off glass and gets the roll. And Ottawa Hills is going to take a timeout here. Be a quick 30 second timeout as the Aces have outscored them. Well, no have scored even with them, both four points. So wanting to talk things over on the Ottawa Hills bench. Cheerleading squads from both schools here entertaining the crowd. And again, not a big crowd making the trip over from uh, Hicksville. It is, a, it is a long drive. Buzzer sounds, and we'll get back into action. The Aces will have the ball on the baseline out of bounds. Iker getting ready to inbounds. Sanders standing by to get the basketball. And here we go. Six minutes, 15 seconds left in quarter number three. Up and no good. Ball being volleyballed around. Miller lines up with it for Ottawa Hills. He'll launch it down to Snyder. Snyder 
went a little too far, manages to battle his way back, count it, and he's fouled. Jackson Snyder rolls it in. And that's going to be foul number four on Garrett Turnbull. Garrett may need to set down for a while. Snyder's going to have one more. No good. Stuckey grabs the rebound. Over to Sanders. Turnbull still out on the floor. Iker. Over to Turnbull. Stuckey. Back to Turnbull. Slattery tries to power his way in. Turnaround jumper, no good. Snyder grabs it over to Grimm. Grimm up the floor, working through traffic, tosses it back to Snyder. Snyder up to Grimm at the top of the key. Aces will set up the defense. Hanus, nope. Over to the far side, Coy. No good. Slattery grabs the rebound. Braden gets the ball over to Sanders. Austin across the half court stripe to Turnbull. Sanders on the wing, inside to Slattery. Slattery, strong move up and good. Ball goes out of bounds. Stays with Ottawa Hills. Langham will come into the game and Turnbull will sit down. We may not see him for a while. Again, picked up four personal fouls. Grimm with the basketball for the Bears. Miller back to Grimm. Bounce pass inside and Snyder's going to be fouled. That'll be on the floor. Red 10, that'll be Iker getting his second personal. Team foul number two on the Aces. 27 point lead to four. The Green Bears up and good, that's Snyder. Team foul number three for the Aces actually. Yeah, you are correct. I forgot that second foul that uh, Turnbull picked up. Langham, Stuckey. Now to Sanders, Sanders. And back to Langham. Directing some traffic. Sanders, Slattery. Iker. Tried to feed it down low to Langham and out of bounds. Miller makes the break, kicks it back out. Anderson and then the Hanus. Snyder works his way in, turn around, put up a little short. And that's going to be out of bounds, and it should go to the Aces. It does. Heisler getting ready to check back in for Hicksville. He'll spell Iker. And also checking back in for Ottawa Hills, number 20, Will Summer. Summers comes in and he'll spell uh, Snyder. Heisler gets the ball into Langham. Here we go. 335 left in the quarter. Sanders to Langham to Heisler. Heisler from down in the corner. No good. Slattery with the rebound. He'll put it back up. No good. Stuckey grabs the board and he'll have it blocked by Summers, but he'll be fouled in the process. So actually, they're going to put the foul on uh, Hanus. And Stucky will be at the line to shoot two. That one's good. Stucky's first point of the night. Owen will have one more. Got them both. Makes it 49 to 22. 27 point lead. 
Anderson to Miller. Miller, a little alley-oop pass to Summers. Nothing there, but they'll kick it back out and retain possession. Also back into the game, Preston Tom, number one for Ottawa Hills. I didn't see him sneak in earlier. Tom with the ball. Down low and over everybody's head and out of bounds. So Hicksville gets the ball back, 2.50 to go in our third quarter. Grant Langham as Grimm getting ready to check back in for Ottawa Hills. And Graber back into the game for the Aces. Sanders bounce pass, tried to get it down low to Slattery. Off of him and out of bounds. So the Bears will get the ball back. Grimm will come in and Chase Miller will get a bit of a breather. Grimm to Tom. Tom for three. Good. Whoa. Preston Tom dials up long distance to make it 52 to 22. Sanders. Long, put back, Slattery. Good. Count it. He's going to the line. Braden Slattery with the bucket. He draws the foul. That'll be team foul number two. That's the uh, first one on Tom. Tom gets his first personal. Again, team foul, team foul number two for the Bears. Slattery gets the free throw. Five points now for Braden. Out of bounds. It'll stay with Ottawa Hills. That one stripped out of Grimm's hands. Here comes Langham, feeds it down to Sanders, knocked loose and out of bounds. I think that's off of Anderson's foot. So it should stay with the Aces. Langham getting ready for the inbounds. Gets it in. Snyder back into the game for Ottawa Hills. Over to Heisler. Heisler for three. Got it. <laughs> Ottawa Hills back on offense. Grimm. Anderson. And Anderson, offensive foul. That'll be team foul number three, and that's the uh, second one on Nick Anderson. Heisler inbounds it to Langham. Here come the Aces with a minute 25 left in the quarter. Langham to Sanders. Down the wing, Heisler for another three. Got it. Braxton Heisler. Miller back into the game for Ottawa Hills and a double team hurls it over to Hanus. Hanus for three, and that's good. That's a dozen points now for Hanus, all of them from outside the three point arc. Graber to Langham down to Heisler. Heisler, Braxton's, that one's no good. Snyder grabs the rebound, and it goes right to. He stepped on the uh, line. Langham tried to get it back in bounds before he went out. Didn't quite make it. 41.1 seconds. And Ottawa Hills getting the basketball back. Inbounds to Grimm. Javi Hanus. They're going to hold it here. Under 30 seconds now. Defense, 
It is. Finally starts moving. He held on to it till there was 15 seconds left on the clock. 10 seconds now. Miller with six, with five. Miller turn around and works his way in, up off glass, no good. Nine tenths of a second. And that's going to be on Braden Slattery. That'll be his second. Team foul number four, and with nine tenths of a second, two shots coming up for Chase Miller. That one's good. Makes it 56 to 31. Got them both. Langham heads almost got it into the <laughs> trash. Almost, yeah. almost got it into the trash receptacle. End of the third quarter. It's the Ottawa Hills Green Bears leading the Aces, 57 to 31. One final Diamond Level underwriting supporter to thank here this evening, and that's our good friends at Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, a world-class facility located in Hicksville's Industrial Park. Their solutions for business and industry include robotics, plasma, welding, so much more. Check them out online to see some examples of some of the incredible work that they have done and projects they've completed around the area, around the state, and around the country. That's www.arcsolinc.com. We want to thank them so very much for being Diamond Level supporters of all of our Aces Sports broadcasts again for 2024. Whenever there is a community effort, you always see Arc Solutions uh, listed as one of the primary sponsors, whether it's the Splash Pad or any other community effort. And we're so proud that they've chosen us to help support as well. And we hope that you will thank them to Denny Vetter, the whole gang at Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Well, Bill, I can officially say I remembered to update all the quarters this time. <laughs> Graber with the basketball. Knocked away by Miller. Can't get to it, though, before it goes out of bounds. Aces ball. Graber getting ready for He'll handle the inbounds to Langham. Brant will bring the ball across the timeline. Graber to Stuckey. Stuckey back to Graber on the wing. Down low to Heisler. Heisler up and good. Grimm with the basketball now as we come back the other way with the Green Bears. Coy on the wing. Anus. And back to Grimm. Miller almost loses it. Still loose on the floor, and still loose on the floor. Langham had it, and somebody kicked the ball. And it's going to be red ball. The way it was bouncing around there, I don't know if it was going to be a timeout, a jump ball, a kick ball, a travel. But in the end, the Aces get the basketball. Langham, seven minutes to go. Down the corner, Iker. Iker for three. Good. Grimm feeds it to Hanus. Hanus just a little short, and Heisler grabs the rebound. Gets it over to Stuckey. Stuckey. Miller comes out to meet him. Grimm's there, too. Gets it down to Iker. Iker puts up the jumper. No good. Coy with the rebound. Back to Grimm. Grimm quickly up the floor. Avi Hanuz into the paint, loses it, and threw it away from the basket. So a lot of the Aces faithful wanting to travel there. Coy. And that one's stolen by Langham. Brandt with the breakaway up, off glass, and good. And timeout on the floor. Called by the Aces. 
It's gonna, gonna be a full timeout. Oh, Ace is making a bit of a comeback, Bill. And that's gonna give us a chance to, uh, well, finish our, th our, our underwriter thank you with a big thank you to our silver level underwriting supporter, the Bruce, Bruce Guilford Real Estate and Auctioneering in downtown Hicksville, Ohio. We want to thank uh, Bruce and his whole staff, uh, Bruce and Turk Guilford and Jody, well, the whole gang over there for their uh, continued support, again, of uh, select sporting uh, events that we cover here on Hicksville Community Television as well as other community programming. And uh, again, just a reminder, uh, if you are interested uh, in, uh, if you're looking for a home, a commercial property, anything real estate, uh, you can check out their latest listings. Either stop by their office or go online to Guilford dash realestate.com you can also get a complete listing of all their upcoming auctions and again if you have a need of auctioneering services give them a call or contact them as well bruce gill for real estate and auctioneering in hicksville ohio our silver level underwriting supporter i think that was a little faster than 60 seconds just the radio guy in me back into action grim Bounce pass down to Hanus. And Hanus is going to be fouled by Iker. I think that was going to be Luke that they're going to get. We'll see. Yep. 10. That'll, That'll be, be Luke's, Luke's third. third. And that's going to put number 10, Avi Hanus, at the line to shoot two. 5.49 to go in regulation. Gets the first one. That's the first point that Avi has scored tonight that was not a three point shot. Every other point he has has been from out beyond the three-point arc. That is second one, in and out, no good. Iker grabs the board to Langham. Langham, Stuckey. Iker, Iker. Off the rim, doesn't get the roll. Ah. Graber. Looking for some help. Down to Heisler. Heisler. Traveled. Oh. Shucks. Because I can't say the other word. Yes. It's family show. Green Bears. <laughs> get the inbounds. Here comes Miller. Chase Miller up the floor. Just a shade over five minutes to go in the game. Hanus back to Miller. Down to Hanus in the corner. Miller up on the wing. He'll drive, kick it back out. Now to Grimm. Grimm, guarded by Langham. Nothing there. He'll back it out. Hanus, he'll drive into the paint, and he's going to be fouled by Langham. That'll be on the floor. Team foul number two on the Aces. And the second one on Brant Langham. Grimm gets it into Miller. Miller tiptoeing on the sideline himself. Miller drives in up, and the layup's good. Langham. Heisler, turn around, good. Chase Miller, guarded by Iker, over to Coy. Coy back to Miller. Miller again going to work on Iker and kick it back out. Snyder, Snyder off of Heisler, lays it up, no good. And the two of them get tangled up a little bit. Heisler hits the deck, and it'll be Ace's ball. Langham bringing it up. Iker back to Langham. And Langham going to draw the foul on number 11. Chase Miller. Miller picks up his second personal, and that's the first team foul on Ottawa Hills for the fourth quarter. Miller will step out and Anderson back into the game for Ottawa. Langham 
Eicher gets the inbounds to Heisler. Heisler puts it up. No good. Goes for his own rebound. It's taken away from him by Snyder. Snyder quickly up the floor to Coy. Back to Snyder. And Snyder traveled. All right. I can see. There's no way you can overlook that. So a turnover back to the Aces. Stuckey will step out. Braden Slattery back into the game. Bounce pass down to Graber. Iker. Iker puts it up and good. Hanus. Guarded by Langham. Hanus works his way around into the paint. And it bounces on the rim. No good. Iker grabs the rebound over to Langham. Langham quickly up the floor. Partially deflected, but it winds up in Heisler's hands. Down into the corner to Slattery. Braden will bring it back out. Heisler, middle volleyball. Snyder winds up with it. And he bumps in to Langham. It goes... Out of bounds. Liam almost taking the official out with him. Yeah. That would have not been good. So out of bounds, last touched by Langham and Ottawa Hills. Grim off the hands of Tom and out of bounds. It'll go back to the Aces with 2.45 to go in the game. Graber, I'm have to dig it out of the corner down there. A little help from the cameraman. Not our cameraman, but a cameraman. Oh, I see now. Iker. Back to Langham. Down low to Slattery. Slattery blocked out of bounds by Snyder. Stays with the Aces. 2.32 to go. Slattery hands it to Langham. Iker back to Langham. Tries to get it inside to Slattery. Slattery's going to be fouled. And beyond number four, that'll be Snyder's second. That's team foul number two on the Green Bears in this quarter. Langham into Heisler. Heisler blocked, gets it right back. Heisler battling in. Traveled. And he traveled. He said that he was bumped. And the official says doesn't matter. Snyder gets it into Grimm. And here come the Green Bears. Grimm almost loses it from behind. Gets it to Anderson. Anderson drives into the paint. Over to Tom. Tom to Hanus. And then back to Grimm. Hanus, Snyder, bounce pass to Hanus, who lays it up and in. Minute 50. Graber, that's off the top of the backboard. Heisler, turn around and no good. Snyder comes up with the rebound. And we're going to have a pause as we're going to uh, get some of the younger players from Ottawa Hills into the game. Coming out onto the floor, number five is Jay Breed. Number 21, that is Ty Anderson. Number 22, I don't know. And then Hicksville, they're sending in level Phineas Phillips. Jaden Castillo yep. and Jesus Avalos. So they're going to give everybody an opportunity to play here in a sectional semifinal game. Braden Slattery will be staying out there. And like I said, and I do not have a number 22 on the roster for Ottawa Hills. So I apologize, but we just don't know the gentleman's name. And he's probably going to score. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make note of his number. Minute 10, clock running. Ty Anderson driving baseline. 
Kicks it back out. Tom. Tom drives in. Feeds it down low. And they're just going to kill some clock here. Level. Gets his name into the book for committing the foul. Colin Level, number 22, out on the floor. That'll be his first and team foul number three. Braden Slattery, one of the seniors, comes off the floor. And the Hicksville faithful giving him a standing O. Well-deserved, good career for that young man. It's going to be his last game as an ace here tonight. Barring, of course, an appearance in the Senior Classic. Thirty-five seconds as we're just counting it down here. Feeds it across off of Tom's hands and out of bounds. It'll be Ace's ball with 26.6 seconds left in the game. And Jesus Avalos gets it in to Sanders, to Phillips, back to Avalos. Avalos tries to put it up, stripped out of his hands. Tom grabs the rebound. He'll send it over to Ty Anderson. Anderson is going to just stand there and dribble the basketball. That's going to be all she wrote. They don't need to do anything. 1-0, and that's it. Your final score in this sectional semifinal, it's going to be the Ottawa Hills Green Bears defeating the Hicksville Aces 62-43, to the final score. So we're going to do some quick additions here, and we will give you the uh, final unofficial scoring here in just a moment. As I am, I'm adding as fast as I can. All right. So, <laughs> as we get ready to wrap things up, let's uh, go through the unofficial scoring uh, for this evening. And again, these are unofficial, but uh, for the, uh, Ic the Hicksville Aces, it uh, breaks down this way. Uh, Austin Sanders finishing up with five points. Uh, Brant Langham finishes the game with a bucket for two. Garrett Turnbull had uh, four buckets overall, two in the first half, two in the second for eight. Bronson Graber, a three-pointer for three. Owen Stuckey, two free throws for two. Luke Eicher, two twos, or excuse me, a one, two, and two threes for eight points tonight. Braden Slattery with a couple of... Uh, Buckets and uh, free throw for five. And Braxton Heisler, two threes and two twos to lead the Aces in scoring tonight with ten points. For the Ottawa Hills Green Bears, it goes this way. Preston Tom at a three-pointer for three. Gabe Grimm, a bucket and a couple of free throws for four. Chance Coy finishes up with five tonight. It was Jackson Snyder, five in the first half, four more in the second half to end up the game with nine. Nick Anderson had a three and a two for five. Then it was uh, Avi Hanus. Hanus had four three-pointers, a bucket and a free throw for 15. And Chase Miller, 15 first half points, and he added six more in the second half to lead all scores, finishing with 21 points tonight. With the win, the Ottawa Hills Green Bears will advance to Friday's sectional final game. They'll have to uh, relocate. That is going to be hosted by the number one seed, Toledo Emmanuel Christian. That game tipping off 7 o'clock on Friday night. Best of luck to the Green Bears in that one. And, of course, that puts an end to the season for the Hicksville Aces tonight. So congratulations to all of them. And again, uh, best wishes to uh, Bra Braden Slattery, the lone senior on the squad. Thanks to him for some good years watching well, him play some fun basketball. There is actually one more senior on the squad, Bill. He wasn't a player, but the team manager, the exchange student, mm -hmm. as well as a senior. want to say good luck to him. Yeah. Uh, Osama, 
uh, one of the exchange students. He was the basketball team manager and water boy for the Aces, and yeah, he, he is a uh, senior as well. So. An exchange student from Libya that yes. is with us uh, this season. So uh, best wishes to him as well. And, of course, the Aces will still have their basketball banquet coming up. And, of course, while this is the last of our uh, regular season and tournament basketball live streams, we've got one more basketball event that we'll be covering. And, again, that's the Senior Classic coming up on Saturday, March 30th. And uh, something tells me we'll see Braden Slattery yes. in that game again. So uh, with that, want to wrap things up. Uh, we have one more thing to do before we thank all of our underwriters and everybody else and wrap up the season, and that's to lay the last Subway player of the game. And my vote tonight goes to Braxton Heisler. Yes, my vote goes to Braxton Heisler as well. So congratulations to Braxton. Couple of threes, couple of twos, and uh, keeping him in it. And uh, keeping it uh, above that 35-point uh, discrepancy. Yes. So we had normal clock operation. Congratulations to him. He's got a $10 Subway gift card coming his way, as well as a nice certificate courtesy of Subway in Hicksville, Ohio, where Al and the gang say go. Aces Subway, a great place to stop before or after the game or any time. So with that, let's say a big thank you not only to Subway of Hicksville, but all of our underwriters, our four Diamond Level Underwriting supporters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, online at jimschmidtauto.com. Our friends at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at aptmfg.com slash careers. Thanks to the Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Phone 419-542-6218 for information on COVID boosters, flu shots, and more. And, of course, Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, a world-class facility located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Already said a big thank you to our Gold Level supporters, Subway of Hicksville, where Al and the gang say go Aces, proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game. And, of course, our two Silver Level underwriting supporters joining us for tonight's coverage, the Hicksville Bank. They're the bank in downtown Hicksville, Ohio, the Hicksville Bank member FDIC and online at www.thb.bank. And also a big thank you to Bruce Guilford Real Estate and Auctioneering and Associates in Hicksville, Ohio. Thank them so very much. They're online too at guilford-realestate.com. So with that, we also want to say a thank you to Mr. Neuendorf, uh, the AD here at Ottawa Hills High School. Again, uh, we came in. They were not used to the kind of setup that we use to live stream games, so uh, they kind of uh, they kind of uh, did it on the fly and accommodated us. We really, really appreciate that. Thank them so very much for allowing us to be here. Uh, thanks also again uh, to uh, the OHSAA. We are an official. This is an officially licensed broadcast and live stream from the Ohio High School Athletic Association. We want to put that out there as well and for the course of the season again i want to say a big thank you to uh to to chris to brian also to my daughter kate my wife amy jim seiler and everybody else that helped us out here in hicksville community television through the course of the basketball season thanks also to mr hot and overmeyer for again being uh, such a tremendous help for us for all the home games that we covered and finally thanks to all of you Hope you enjoyed our basketball coverage for the 2023-2024 season, whether you watched it live or if you watched the rebroadcast on Hicksville Community Television here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel or video on demand on YouTube or, again, on Mediacom Channel 12, SMTA Channel 8. Thank you so very much. And, again, we hope you enjoyed the coverage we had for you again this year. So that's going to wrap it up uh, for tonight and for the boys' basketball season. Once again, final score tonight in this boys' Division Three sectional semifinal game. It's the Green Bears of Ottawa Hills over the Aces, 62-43 to the final score. And with that, for Brian Williams operating the camera and Chris Warner doing color commentary and overseeing the OBS software and the live stream tonight, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing all of you a very good night.